All right, guys, we got another load of batteries. So let's take a look at them. All right, so here's the first one that we're going to look at. This one right here says right bat uh, rechargeable lithium ion battery IFR 26650. So it's got 26650 cells, 24 amp power PCM. So about 614 watt hours. This is more, slightly more than half a kilowatt hour and is at 25.6 volts. So 24 volts, right? Red wire terminal positive, black negative. And here's the crazy thing it already comes with an Anderson type connector. Now this is not an Anderson type, this is kind of like a knockoff, uh, but the pins are the same as the Anderson. So if you wanted to very easily, you could take this connector off and put a, like a genuine uh, Anderson uh, SB50, I think it's what it's called, the uh, Anderson connector, right? So it's also got three signal wires in here. Uh, they're SLC or SCL sda and ground so i don't know what those are for but let's see what kind of batteries it's got inside and let's see how this is built inside it's made like a typical battery like the kind of the low-end batteries got i think it's probably gonna be some kind of fiberglass you know like a pcb type um of sheet in here and then probably foam and then this stuff is uh just shrink wrap now there's nothing wrong with doing that, um, but the ends are sealed. So this is some kind of like epoxy, like a gooey, a rubbery epoxy to seal the ends. Uh, both sides of that is, so this is a sealed battery, which means it usually came off of like a vehicle or some type, like a scooter or a motorcycle or a e bike or something, so that, you know, keep the moisture out of there. So in order to get to the inside, we're gonna just gonna have to rip the, the shrink tubing here, or the shrink wrap. All right, so lithium iron phosphate batteries, 8S. Uh, let's look at if we can find the specs of the cells. Here we go. This is what we found out. Lipo 4, 26650 rechargeable cell, 3.2, 3,800 milliamp hours. Discharge cutoff voltage, 2.8, 3.9. So discharge current, there we go. That's where we're interested. Standard, 1.9 amps. So, point, so half of a C, right? Uh, rapid continuous, 3.8 amps. So that's one C for battery pack. Maximum continuous, 11.4 um, amps for single cell use only, not for battery pack. Pulse, 20 amp for five seconds. So this can put out quite a bit of power for, you know, five seconds. It'll, it could pulse, right? But it's a half C standard uh, or one C, you know, rapid Internal resistance is uh, more or less 25 milli ohms. Um, 2000 cycle life, there we go. Um, so at 100% uh, depth of discharge, at 1C charge, 1C discharge. Okay, so this is at the rapid 3.8 amps in, 3.8 amps out, 2,000 cycles. But if you use it storage, for example, yeah, so you're, you'll get the typical 4,000, 5,000 cycles out of these. Yeah, they're the blue ones, they look like that. So at 1C, 600 watts, it's 25 amps. When you look at the BMS, it's got four MOSFETs, four here and then two over there. It's about a 25 amp a MOSFET here. Uh, so I'd say these uh, are rated at 25 amps. These are good packs and I, we don't know why they're here. We don't know because uh, this is the first one that I took, just randomly took it off the pallet and it's, it's a nominal. Like the cells are at 3.19 or something. So almost 3.2, nominal, right? So these are very cool because these are 24 volts. They're already put together. Uh, they're lithium iron phosphate, so they're safe and they're long lasting. 
And if you wanted to run, uh, like build a large system with these, well, you just have to get two of these and then put them in series. And now you got your 16S, uh, 48 volts, right? And you got 25 amps each one. So if you want 100 amps, right? Sustain uh, 100 amp load. Then you just have to get four uh, groups of of pairs, right? So eight of these battery packs will be able to sustain that. Uh, and you'll have at eight, you'll have four kilowatt hours, right? So these are gonna be really, really easy to build a uh, system, right? Uh, a kind of a modular system. So more lithium iron phosphate down in our warehouse. I'm finally glad to offer 18 um, lithium iron phosphate, the long lasting and the, the super safe uh, chemistry so these are great for storage i recommend you, you use these for storage not so much for you know e-bikes or stuff because then you can get a much smaller battery for an e-bike that can put out more power right but uh these are really good for storage because they're lithium iron phosphate and they're already made all right so these are going to be at jack35.com thank you for watching this video we'll see you guys on the next one bye